Hello everybody and welcome back to Hometown Heroes. We're back and so is counter-attacking football. Things haven't quite gone our way since our last game. Let's turn it around. Run the intro. So yeah, hello everybody, my name is Brokester and welcome back to Hometown Heroes where we, things haven't quite gone our way. So um, since the Leeds match, we beat Brighton, um, we went back to the counter-attacking football halfway through and that's really how we got that final goal. It was a pretty good goal as well. Then we lost to Man City 1-0 when Madison missed a penalty. Then we changed formation to the, uh, to a different formation. Then we changed to a different formation where we beat Aston Villa 4-1 with Madison getting a hat-trick. We wanted to get the best out of Madison and we seem to have found a system that does it. Uh, then we had the Carabao Cup where, surprise, surprise, we're out of that. But this time, uh, yeah, the, the sending off it happened very late on. We couldn't do anything about it. We played really well. We battered them. Our sta uh, like, if you look at uh, the match report... Um, let me change this to match stats. Yeah, so look, we absolutely battered them here. Um, completely, but we just, yeah, we just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net. Uh, then we faced Liverpool um, at home, to which we didn't play bad, just Liverpool and Liverpool, aren't they? Henderson scored a header from a corner. The fact that they scored from a set piece, I think, just shows how good our defence was in that game. Then we got battered by Tottenham, who have been brilliant this season, to be honest with you. Um, Damari Gray got a goal, and I thought, oh, life's up, going up, and then we conceded three. Today we have Arsenal and Southampton. The only seven goals for the Arsenal game is we were at home, and we've only lost once at home, and that was to Liverpool. So I fancy our chances of at least getting a draw here. Um, so yeah, let's show you the team, and let's get into the match. So yeah, here's the team. Um, I did say we changed formation, um, but technically we haven't. Well, we have. So usually Madison's just not fit to play today, unfortunately, and so is Chilwell. They've both been on international duty and came back very tired. Usually we play someone here, right? And then, uh, um, and then we set the instructions to play stay wider and run with the ball wide as well. Um, and sometimes roam from position. Uh, just to free up this area really. Um, so Madison literally just runs around in this sort of area. No, no care in the world. And can just do what he does. Um, but yeah today because he's because he is a bit um, tired and stuff. We've had to change the formation back. Which I don't mind. Uh, obviously if things don't go to plan we can put Barnes back in. Um, but yeah. So this is the team today. We've got Soy Sauce and Vardy are both out with injuries at the moment, which is so annoying. Um, but so, so yeah, so the team today is Schmeichel, Ricardo, Morgan, Bennett, Justin, Ndidi, Tillemans, Prayet, Gray, Barnes and Iannaccio. So yeah, it's not our strongest side, but hopefully it can produce something. Um, for those of you interested in uh, what my things are, then here's what they are so yeah hopefully that gives you some idea and the board aren't happy that we're not playing attacking football so i'm having to be a bit more positive than usual so yeah let's get into it wow so you look at arsenal's team you got leno chambers um socrates holding kolasinac make them niles Terraria, Pepe, Ozil, albamiang and lacazette Whew. i like the arsenal team i think Arsenal in real life aren't doing um, good enough for what their ability actually is. Um, so yeah, but the media are on my backs and everything. So I'm, I kind of need a good episode here because the media are a little bit on my back and I don't want that on me anymore. So I hope this early chance goes to us, to be honest, and we counter-attack them like our style is supposed to be. Um, but again, due to the class in... Arsenal, you can't expect that really. And they've cut me open completely. Pepe's got it. 
pulls it back to Chambers, back to Pepe. I put the uh, wingers on a t uh, on support to help out, but it does no help, no help at all. Barnes there, I think it was, is absolutely was awful there. Got completely outdone, and we're already one 0 down. <sighs> What what it just makes me question what I do sometimes because that's the first minute like my format like my team haven't quite got into the formation just yet you know you're not quite set so you don't really want to change anything and Didi to Ionacho he's hit the post oh, we needed that mate we really did need that it's a nice early chance though and hopefully that's a sign of things to come but. Unfortunately, they like coming at us. And Socrates, there we go. It's 2-0 already. We're eight minutes in. And the worst part is, this isn't showing how good the counter-attacking has been. You know, the counter-attack's been awesome, really. But they've scored with two shots. They've literally had two shots on target and scored both. I have no indication whether it's doing well or not. You know, to come from a set piece and stuff, you, you just don't have any idea. Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo! Just wide. Just wide. See, the thing is, if you look at the early chances, the actual better chances have gone to us so far. Um, which is a bit confusing, bear in mind we're 2-0 down. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's just quite frustrating. Grey over the top. But to, but to who? I know it was to Iron Acho, but it just didn't it didn't fall to him, did it at all? Really didn't fall to him. Leno's going to boot it up, and they're going to hope they mount to a oh, well some sort of counter attack. But we had time to set in stone. Albamiang's pace <sighs> so worrying, so so worrying. Um, I'm going to demand more from him. I mean, that's the better thing to do right now, is demand more, see if they produce anything. And But the thing is, you know, you look at those average ratings, we're not playing badly. And that's the thing, usually when you're 2-0 down this early, you're playing badly. Grey! Have we hit the bar again? We've hit the, bo we've hit the post twice now. We've hit the woodwork twice. Oh, what are you supposed to do to that? Because literally, that's just chance then. It creative. Come on. I want to see something in these final minutes. I'm going to go a little bit more attacking for these final two minutes. Again, if it's another set piece, I'm going to be... Oh, it's just annoying. Right, I'm going to tell him I'm disappointed. I'm going to be quite angry with him because there shouldn't be two no down. Really. Maybe we take the overlaps off. Maybe that's the problem right now. Is we're leaving ourselves open. Not 100% sure. But I want to maybe try that. See, see what happens. Maybe, maybe that's what, what the problem is, is. Yes, our style of play is working and stuff. But we're leaving ourselves so open. That it doesn't even matter. So maybe leaving them a little bit further back. Could uh, could help, but it can't help when you've got Aubameyang running at you, can it? They've played a lovely ball over the top to Kalasanak. We try and close him down, but he puts the ball in anyway. We clear it, but what happened there? What happened there? Like, he just got shot, and it was so fast. So, so fast. And yet again, Bar Barnes has had a pretty poor game, so we're going to play Madison. in there and we're going to change his little there we go they're running at us they'll probably score again Aubameyang Jesus we kind of need to go for it here yeah we just need to start going for it Perez may be coming on up front don't really know what you'll, you know, maybe try that, see what happens. 
I'm not. I, I'm just trying stuff out, viewers. You know, we've you, we absolutely shut up uh, Liverpool, Man City. We shut them up. We didn't open the doors for them at all. And Arsenal, however, are, are doing exactly what Tottenham did and running rings around us. It's just very, very worrying. Very worrying. Because I don't, I, I want the series to go well, but it's it's going very poorly at the moment. But it doesn't help. We played five of the top six in our first what eight games. Like that, just that really doesn't help with your season, does it? Especially if you're trying to find your feet, it just it just wears you down. Go on, Justin. Go on, Justin. I don't know why my striker's not helping you, but Justin. <sighs> We've had the better, we've had as good, if not better, chances. And we're going to bring all Brighton on on this right hand side. Pfft, not a clue what I'm going to do. Time's just ticking on and on and on. And they've got a highlight. Again, worrying. I just want a goal. I just want, I just want a goal. I want to show to the viewers that I, I, I can, you know, some, it's going reasonably well and we're not doing terribly. But every time they've seen us so far, we've played poorly. Madison's running forwards. Go on, Madison. Go on, Madison. Play it in. Madison, play it in, Madison, you selfish bugger. Come on. It's not going to matter, but I'll demand more right at the end. Yeah, that was... I'm going to say we were underdogs. Because I need to lift their spirits up. They're so miserable. Literally, don't play as Leicester on this game. Because they're the most miserable team in the world. Genuinely. They are the worst. Right, so we, we lost. We're not looking good in terms of the league. But if you look at this, we played nine matches. We won two against Villa Brighton. Drawn against Newcastle. And yes, we've lost to Sheffield United. But we lost to Arsenal, Tottenham, Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea. So we've lost to teams mostly that we should... Uh, you know, in theory, should lose to. So... Yeah, I'll see you at the Southampton game. Right, so here is the team. Uh, not much has changed from last time. Actually, I forgot to put Chilwell back in. Um, so yeah, th this is going to be the team... Uh, the only difference at the back is Chilwell. We put Chowdhury in as a ball winning midfielder. Madison's in midfield because Tielemans and Prayet don't play well together. Uh, do you know what? Technically, Prayet's played better this season. But we'll, we'll try Tielemans to start off with. Um, uh, Ricardo and uh, Gray... They don't have a good partnership, so I put all Brighton in. Barnes has kept his place, and Iannaccio is now a deep, uh, deep line forward. I think bringing in everyone else will help out a little bit more. So, hopefully this works, because, oh boy, if it doesn't. Let's get into it. Wow, they're playing a five at the back, which is usually very hard to break down on this game. Um... So yeah, it's probably a good job. A good job that we're going a bit attacking more than usual. Uh, Southampton have some really nice players. They're doing well this season. They're high up the table, so they're going to be tough to beat. But I, I believe, I expect to win. I have faith. They really don't care about me. They really don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, we're in fifteenth in the table. We don't talk about that. Oh god, a chance very early on. They're just passing it around very nicely. Um, not really going for. They're not going forward at all, really. Which is either a good sign or a bad sign because it means they get time to build it up. I'm not 100% sure which. Right now it's looking like a bad sign, even though if you look at our shape, we're looking really good. Uh, Walker Peters just absolutely dances past one of my players. Uh, he put managers to put the cross in. Ings just wide, made far too easy, really. Um, 
yeah, Barnes didn't really put in any tackle or anything, so it's a bit annoying to be honest. Maybe, maybe we put get stuck in on. Maybe that's a thing we put in. You know, just to really make sure that they, um, you know, get stuck in. Um, but Walker Peters in acres of space yet again. He just He's always in space because Barnes just lets him run. And Bertrand. And oh my god. You, you serious. I, seriously. Did that just happen? Did that just happen? Seriously. Are you joking me? So Walker Peters in acres of space. Bertrand hits the shot. It's a good shot in general. Ricardo. I have three players and Ings just... Not one touches the ball. Not one. Jesus. Look, they don't care. They don't even care. That's better. But right for a split second. Literally, come on. And no highlights. There are no shots either. There we go. Finally had a shot. I can't believe I'm celebrating a shot. Like, literally, when you start celebrating shots, that's when you know you're struggling. Just, I need more from this team, and there's just nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. What am I meant to do? You know, I can't mamby-pamby them, because they're all miserable. Right, we've got a highlight after half-time. It better be to us, otherwise we're going to have issues, because... Right now, we, we need the win to get 10 points from 10 games. Which is a bad rate anyway. All Brighton. To Ricardo. Ricardo over the top. To no one. Barnes manages to pick it up. Put it to Chilwell. Tielemans has got it outside the box. Pull into Madison now. Chowdhury. To Chilwell. We're building it up very, very nicely. We just needed this end product. And we've been tackled by Walker Peters. Is it going to be a penalty? It should be. And it is. There we go. So who's going to take it? It's probably going to be Madison. It is Madison. He steps up. He's missed another one. He's missed a... Oh. My two best penalty takers have missed penalties this season. What am I meant to do, viewers? I don't know what I can do. I really don't know what I can do anymore. I've, I've actually reached that point where I'm questioning whether I, I can do anything. Get further forward, roam from position. Do, do Just do what you can. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, in, I'm just baffled. I, I just don't know what to do anymore. <sighs> I really don't know. If my players are missing penalties, it, it, you start to question, don't you? That's my second penalty miss this season. Third if you count the penalty shootout. Madison's missed two out of three. It's not a good rate at all. Um, yeah. It's very disappointing. Madison's got it. Over the top. Let's pull away again though. Come on Tielemans. Tielemans has got it. He's done nice with it. But he pulls it back to Morgan, who can't do anything with it, because he's not good. Like, shooting-wise, he's not good. Iron Atcher heads it to Madison. Madison's got to do something with it. He does bugger all again. And then that whole bug goes away with it. We've absolutely wasted another opportunity. Ings is through on goal. Ings is probably going to score. If it wasn't for Schmeichel, we would have been 2-0 down. And deservedly so as well. Absolutely shocking by Leicester. Not a single thing have I seen that so far that's made me actually believe we stand any chance of doing well. I don't know what it is this year. I'm just very much struggling when it comes to Premier League saves. And I just don't know what system to use. You know, the, the, I would like to point out the counter-attack is what made us batter teams. It's what made us win games. But right now, it's just not working. And I can't keep up with Madison. That, you know, Madison has one of, my one of the worst average ratings in this team. 
One of the worst average ratings. I don't know what to do with him. I play him in his proper position, it goes wrong. I play him out of position, it goes wrong. There's literally nothing I can do. And I'm starting to get very frustrated. Very, very frustrated. Get creative. Come on. Do something. Do just do just do something. Maybe I don't know. I'm getting desperate. I'm actually getting desperate. Maybe work the ball into the box. Might be able to fashion up an opportunity. Nothing's coming of it. They've probably shut up shop. It wouldn't surprise me. And I wouldn't blame them either. They're doing ever so well this season. Ings, there we go. 2-0. We needed a win today and we haven't got one. Um, wow, what am I supposed to do, viewers? What am I supposed to do? Yeah, I'm recording this before, well, the day you meant to see the, the last episode. Um, I might have to wait even longer um, to get some ideas. But they're all miserable. They're all, you know, I really don't know what to do. I'm meant to be playing, attacking football, and they're getting disappointed. They're getting, I'm very insecure already. I'm I'm in trouble, viewers. I'm in trouble. Um, Sets a sign for Leicester. Cool. I was featuring in the last match. Bennett has now triggered his uh, loan from Wolves being made permanent. Okay. Right. Well. Jesus Christ. Look at all that red. Right. So the next game we're going to play. Um, probably around... December time unless anything happens uh, I don't want to play United on, on screen I feel that you guys really don't want to see me lose again like massively and plus there's other points in the season you know it's, it's situations like that when you play the big teams multiple games in a row um, do you know what I'll probably play I, I'll play Norwich West Ham something like that um Get some idea uh, of what to do um, in that time. So, yeah. I'll come back for the Norwich West Ham game. Unless the boards basically get very, very close to sacking me. Um, but I think even though, even if that happens, I think it'll be around the Norwich game anyway. Uh, if I was to get sacked. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I know it's a glum end to the episode. But, yeah. We're, we're in trouble. We're in absolute trouble. We need to turn our fortunes around. And if we don't soon, this series could be over a lot quicker than I thought. Yet again, another series that is over a lot quicker than I thought. Yeah. It's not ideal. We're not in a good situation. Um, but, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please put anything in the comments to help me out. I just don't want to play a gag and press because it's just starting to frustrate me now that every time I think I'm doing bad, I play a gag and press, I do well. You know, I don't want to constantly rely on it. Um, I want, I want to learn the game. I don't, I don't just want to, you know, I, I don't just want to result to the same tactic every single time because that's just boring to watch and boring to play. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. See ya.